Hello, pocket knife community, knife lovers, knife enthusiasts, interested viewers. Foldy here. Yes, yes, yes. I'm going to do an unboxing. I know what this is. Um, but I'm still going to have fun unboxing it. <laughs> you know? Still going to have a little fun cutting it out. I ordered this, uh, and I will tell you it is from Knife Center. And... Oh, wait, is this the right knife? Oops. All right, no big deal. Uh, I was looking for a specific type of folder uh, for specific tasks to fill a specific niche that I had in my collection. Um... Not that I don't have knives, and I have the wrong one, I'll get it, that represent uh, this niche, but I wanted something else, and I specifically wanted one from Spyderco. <laughs> so, just came in the mail today, and it is the, yeah, the Native Chief in black, FRN. And I'll tell you what the deal is uh, with this knife. The niche that I was looking to fill. Wow, that's pleasant. Perfectly, perfectly centered blade. That's really good to see. An FRN Spyderco with a perfectly centered blade. Very excited about that. Yeah, so this is the, uh, the Spyderco native chief lightweight so out of the native series knives this is the big boy right this is the big one this is the overall length of nine inches nine inch knife but this is not a uh this is not a small knife um and um yeah let's just get down to it um i got this knife to fill a niche of Serrated knives, serrated pocket knives that I own. And and this is a big boy. And man, that blade is really sharp. So let me just explain. Um I don't have many I don't have any pocket knives that have fully serrated edges. None. Uh I do have a few combo combo knives like this. And I'm big on combo knives. I love serrated edges. And I love straight edges. So for me, um, you know, I know the value of a serrated edge. Uh, we'll get into that a little bit. And I know the value of having a straight edge. And they, in a lot of cases, um, serve um, a very different task, a very different type of cutting. Um, I wanted a full size spider co that filled that fills that niche uh the recon one is the other in the, in the tanto is the other partially serrated edge uh folder that i have and i have one more let me go grab it really quick i thought i grabbed it but i didn't hold on guys yeah the other uh partially serrated uh knife that i have is my sog x uh, seal xr um, this is a, if you don't know, an absolute massive, <laughs> massive knife, really big and stout. So this is my other partially serrated, uh, folder, uh, along with the recon. If you notice all my partially serrated folders are just absolutely humongous knives. <laughs> and there's a reason for that. So this is, uh, the, um, uh, the native, which is a nine inch knife. And it is just slightly uh, longer than um, the Recon and the Sog. These are these are really big knives, guys. Really big. Um, this has a four-inch blade on this knife. Four inches, huge. You know, the uh, close is the handle's five inches. Five-inch handle is plenty of handle length. Plus, it's got a front finger choil. So you have. I got big hands, and this is like look looks dwarfed in this thing it's really 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 big knife um so 
I would just like to say that uh, if um, the zombie apocalypse happened tomorrow, uh, these three knives would definitely go in, uh, into my um, my bug out bag. And one of the reasons why is because the versatility of a um, a dual uh, uh, a combo blade. To me, combo blades, uh, why they don't look as cool as straight edge blades and fully serrated edge knives just look, <laughs> I don't want to say what they look like to me, but you know, they, uh, they just don't, you know, aesthetically pleasing as a, you know, a, uh, a straight edge. Um, but I do like the combo. I do like the way the combos look. And if you're not familiar with, um, uh, serrated edges, just there are there are things that serrated edges just do better than straight edges, and it's things straight edges do better than serrated edges. If you're cutting like a rope or something, or you know, if you're cutting bread for one, food in the food industry, serrated edges do amazing. They hold their cutting ability for a long time. They could even be dull sometimes and still cut very well because they have a sawing effect. Uh, serrated edges and Nobody does uh, the serrations that Spyderco does is just absolutely excellent. You know, um, as you can see, the serrations are different on this. The the uh, the downturns uh, with the pointed edges are a few less on this one. This is more of a micro serration. These are much bigger serrated edges. They work relatively the same. I would say that the Spyderco would be easier to sharpen. Because to sharpen serrations, you have to, you know, you got to have some patience to sharpen these. You know, you can go in there with a tool and sharpen these one individually. Or there's, there's ways to sharpen them. But the thing is, you don't really need to sharpen them too often. I have a kitchen knife that has a serrated edge that you could rub on your hand and it won't even cut it. But it can still cut bread. It can still, because it has a sawing effect. So, yeah. Um... Yeah, so I decided to pick up the native. Uh, it's in the lightweight, and um, you know that's a very good uh, the uh, FRN. So let's just talk about this knife real quick. I'm not going to get into it too much, but I'm going to talk about it somewhat. The blade is a four-inch blade. The cutting edge is three point five on the cutting edge. Uh, that four-inch, that half-inch that I was talking about would be the uh, the finger choil area which obviously is not a cutting surface. It has jimping on the top and jimping on the actual front finger choil. Uh, close, you're looking at about five inches. Overall length is nine inches. These aren't exact numbers. If you go onto the website, uh, it's 9.05 inches or 230 millimeters. The steel that Spyderco used, is another reason why I got this knife, the steel they used on this is uh, CTS Carpenters, beautiful company, love Carpenter Steel, uh, Carpenters BD1N. And uh, do not confuse that with Carpenters BD1. It's BD1N. That N stands for nitrogen. They added more nitrogen to the metallurgy, which actually makes it a fine grain steel, which in turn being fine grain makes it very easy to sharpen. Fine grain and sharpening is a good thing because this knife is definitely has very good um, edge retention and corrosion. That's the benefit of BD uh, CTS BD1. BD1 is um, it's not it's 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 one of those steels that's right on the edge. It's right on the edge. It's not a super steel. You know, it's not as good as M390 or L Max or you know, it's not a super steel, but of the of the more common middle of the road steels, it's probably the best, the absolute best. I mean, I would say that it, it has a, a Rockwell hardness of, of uh, sixty to sixty three HRC, so that's extremely hard. And um, so yeah, it's gonna have middle of the road toughness, but with seventeen percent um, chromium, it, it's gonna be a very good stainless steel. Um, yeah, I believe, um, don't quote me on this. If anyone knows better, put it in the comments, but I believe it has better end, edge retention than 14C28N. And if it does, I believe it does. I, I'll, I can look it up. I'm not sure. I mean, I'm not sure if they ever did a head to head between the two steels, but I'm sure that they're, they're close. 
yeah so uh this knife will hold an edge for a very long time uh not quite as good as the super steels but it's easier to sharpen than the super steels it's easier to sharpen m390 will hold an edge longer than this but this is much easier to sharpen because of uh the nitrogen they added added to it um you know making it a fine grain steel and that's really what the uh the difference is that fine grain is much easier it's much more uh pleasant to uh a sharpen this is a this is design is is designed ugh, this knife designed by both glessers eric and and sal as you see they both uh they both have their signatures on the knife yeah, so this is the big this is the big boy though. Yeah, I like this knife a lot. I've wanted it for a long time. Um just never picked one up. You know, um and decided to just pull the trigger on it because of the fact that um, you know, like I said, in the zombie apocalypse, you, you definitely want to have something um that that can hold an edge for a long time. You definitely want to have something that is that's serrated. With a serrated edge, you can use this back section to cut a rope real easy. They just slice through stuff like that. And then also, if you want to harvest an animal in the field, you got the front edge that has the the, um, the plant edge. Nicely make those nice smooth cuts. You know, if you're cutting a fish, you know, or a, uh, you know, anything, you know, a rabbit, you know, whatever. You know, and um, it also will do good uh, at the campsite. And because it has the FRN handle, this stuff is completely bulletproof. Uh, it's a drop point blade, full flat grind, satin finish. The blade edge, like I said, is combo, FRN, black. It's a lockback. It's a lockback. It's a Spyderco lockback. It's not going to be as powerful as the mighty triad lock but it, it's still a lockback lockbacks are inherently uh strong we got tip up left or right uh carry with the with the pocket clip and being the lightweight version this sucker only weighs 3.1 ounces so you throw it into uh Put it on your hip or you throw it in your pocket or you throw it into your, your bug out bag it ain't gonna take up much weight and like i said it has the frn handles which has the bi-directional uh spider coast proprietary uh bi-directional patterns on it that just offer superior uh grip when holding the knife and using the knife uh, for cutting tasks so it won't slip out of your hand it, it's very grippy yeah, this is a good utility knife. This is something that this, this is for. It's for very good um, utilitarian work. And the fact that it has this uh, humongous uh, four inch blade, or three and a half inch cutting surface, you got plenty of space for the combo. Plenty of room in the front for your plain edge and plenty of room in the back for your serrated edge. So anyway. All right, so um, yeah, I'm not gonna. I think I'm done. You know, I'm not gonna. Yeah, the the uh, the these the lightweights used to be uh, in Spyderco used to be that you couldn't take them apart. Now I think all of them you can. They used to have like I think rivets on both sides, and you couldn't take them apart. Now they have the screws where you can, which is great. Because they have aftermarket scales for these things too. But usually when I get a lightweight, I, I keep the lightweight on there. Because that's the reason why I got the lightweight. Lightweight and just use the knife for what it's used for. What it's designed for. So. Anyway. Alright. That's all I got. Not going to beat a dead horse on this one, guys. We got the Spyderco. Native Chief Lightweight Folder 4 inch CTS BD1 Satin Combo Blade Black FRN Handles Lockback. All right, 